everybody, this is Daniel. And I'm here today to talk to you about the big question. Does God exist? Right? That's a tricky one. Let's say you're a Christian, you live in a Christian country, you come from a Christian family, you go to a Christian church, but then there's the big question, does God really exist? Well, let me ask you this. If you were born in a Muslim country, or a Hindu country, would you be a Muslim right now? Or a Hindu? Most of you would say yes to that. And, and you'd probably be right. But some of you would be quick to point out, you'd say, look, even though I'm, I'm a Muslim or a Hindu, and I'm in a different culture, um, and that's probably the faith I would be, but I, I would only be doing so in ignorance. Because I, I just simply don't know any better. Well, then let me ask you this. How do you know that you're not doing the same thing right now? How do you know that you're not a Christian in ignorance? Because you just simply don't know any better. Think about it. Is it possible that we can ever really know the truth? Does God exist? More than we know. All right, now how do you know that God exists? By the things he puts in my life. The people. So how do you know that God exists? That's a faith thing, man. That's why they call it faith. Okay, so is it just blind faith? Just you decide to believe, or? Yeah, it's a decision to buy faith. Absolutely, it's a decision. Okay, and so you said you call yourself a Christian, right? Yeah. You just, you just have to have faith. Like, I just, you just do. Like, I just believe in him. He's always been there for me. It's always someone I can turn to. I just feel that I know that there's God, and I know there's things I've been through in life where if he wasn't there, I'm sure I wouldn't have made it, so I believe that he's there for me. Because so I just have faith. Because I have faith. Well, I guess that's because I was raised. I'm actually, I'm not sure why. So how about it? Can you defend your faith? Does it freak you out to think about somebody coming up and challenging you? And saying, hey, why do you believe what you believe? Or if they stick a camera in your face and ask you to defend your faith, are you able? Or more importantly, are you biblical? Now, if you call yourself a Christian and you're not able to defend your faith, or you're not even able to talk about the existence of God, maybe you don't even know if God exists, well, I have to ask, are you really a Christian? Because a Christian is somebody who knows God. Someone who intimately knows the creator of the universe. And so to claim that name of Christianity, but then to say, well, maybe he doesn't exist. Well, that's... That's a serious dilemma that you're going to have to figure out how to deal with there. And maybe I can, I can help you out with this, this video teaching right here. Because maybe you're the type of person that wants to be able to prove the existence of God to somebody. Or, actually, you're probably somebody, if this is on YouTube, you're one of those people that wants God's existence to be proven to you. Well, what if I were to tell you that He already has? He already has proven his existence to everyone that's ever existed on the entire planet. And in this series, I'm going to show you how. So what I'm going to do now is talk to you about the proof of God. And I'm going to go through a whole list of things that can be used as evidential support of what the Bible says. So basically, you'll be able to look at the Bible, you'll be able to look at the physical evidence and see how they mesh together. And you'll say, hey, look, this makes sense. You see, now I'm going to do my best to introduce you to a new and deeper understanding of the Word of God. So that by the end of this series, you're going to be armed with the ultimate apologetic, the truth about the proof of God. Does that sound pretty good? Then let's do it. 